Yo guys, what is up this Nick? Today we have a new uh, Pokemon Go video. This is going to be a three-parter uh, back at the Chocolate Cafe. I got a lot of nice clips and a lot of heartbreaking uh, losses, I guess, uh, runaways from Pokemon. Uh, this is just a view of the cafe and where I was sitting. Of course, there's a train right when I want to record, uh, but that's where I was sitting. That's not the exact spot. I was over a table in my last recording, but generally the same area. Uh, I had a little bit better luck this time staying within the, th the triangle, which was, which is good. Uh, like I said last time, I had a lot of trouble staying inside of that. Uh, starting off with a Spiro, not too important, but I believe this is a little bit of a streak. Gasly's. Um, we, we were, or I was hard on the hunt for Gasly because I'm actually getting really close to a, uh, Gengar, which I really want, and I think it's actually going to be a pretty good Gengar. Uh, I've been using an Allier's app, uh, for, uh, I think it's Pokefind.com. Uh, let me, let me make sure. Yeah, it's Pokefind.com. And it just helps you with your evolution calculator. Uh, there's a couple, most of the time I won't use it because it's more fun to just evolve something and find out. But I wanted to see on a couple of my Pokemon, like Ghastly, uh, going up to Victory Bell. There's a couple other Pokemon that I wanted to know, so I know if I want to evolve another, like, Ghastly into a Haunter, or do I want to just evolve the Haunter I have. Uh, there's a couple things like that that I did a little bit of research. Also, I did it with Vulpix, because I want to know... My Vulpix suck. Like, I'm going to get Ninetales, but I might hold off until I get a better Vulpix, because... 393 only translates to like a 900 to a thousand nine tails, which is useless to me at this point. I, I need like a 1500 nine tails for it to be viable for me to use. It really needs to be 1700, so it's viable for a really long time, and then it's viable to keep powering it up. Uh, but if it's not, if it's not going to be at least 1,500, it's not all that viable for me anymore because I have a Fire-type Pokemon at 1,500, or at 1,600 in that Flareon. Like, it just, it isn't a viable, it isn't a viable, um, Pokemon at that point. Uh, because, for one, I think Flareon is a better Pokemon in general. I think it's a better, it has a better, uh, move set than Ninetales. Uh, but on top of that, it, would just be a higher combat part. There'd be no point to use Nine Tails, I don't think. Uh, but we did get all three of these spots lured up a lot of the time. Uh, there was a time or two where it died in there. It was just me, uh, so it was a little bit slow going uh, for about an hour. Uh, but I was just uh, for that hour, I actually had to do something else. I needed to do something else while I was there anyway. Uh, so that was kind of kind of worked out all right. That for an hour there wasn't anything. Um, I did uh, find, uh, it'll be shown later, but I did find a Tentacruel and something else uh, uh, on my way there. I found a Tentacruel. I found a, um, I think it was a 1400 Pidgey on the way, or not a Pidgey, a Pidgeot. A 1400 Pidgeot on my way, uh, but I didn't catch it. I could, it ran away. I only got one Pokeball at it, and then it ran away. And I also found a, a uh, Squirtle, but my app froze. Uh, you know how when that thing pops up the top, I was trying to swipe it away, and I accidentally pulled down, and that causes that Pokeball to get stuck in the top corner, which is horrible. Uh, here's a Psyduck. We, we actually, um, there's going to be a huge evolution video coming up. Uh, it'll probably be after these three parts of the Chocolate Cafe. Uh, we'll probably go into the Evolution video, uh, where we are going. We evolve a bunch of Caterpies and stuff like that. We get a bunch of experience, uh, which was the main part that I wanted. But we also evolved and got some new Pokemon, and we got some really strong Pokemon and stuff like that. Um, uh, I figured out on the Eevee. See, it's kind of weird because I'm explaining stuff in this video uh, that I do in that video. So just kind of remember that that video was recorded before I, before I was able to sit down and do the post-com for this video. Uh, but for the evolutions, because uh, I wanted to tell you guys as soon as possible when I find stuff out. So that's why I'm kind of telling you in this uh, post-com here. Uh, but that evolution uh, trick where you name them, what you need to do is change the names after you evolve them. 
or you know if you're going to evolve another one make sure you change all the names uh it just helps uh it can mess up uh if you if you have any leftover uh like if you have one named sparky and you try to name it rainer it may not actually come out as a vaporeon because i don't know the game is confused because you have stuff named mostly it occurs when you have something named rainer and then you try to name something else rainer that's when it usually tends to become an issue uh, but it can happen with if you just have something named, you know, Sparky, and you wanna, you wanna Flareon, it can screw up in that way as well. Uh, still hunting for every single Pokemon on the screen. Uh, obviously, Volpix is what we have the most of. Growlithe, I only have one. Don't have an Aerodactyl. Don't have a Porygon. Don't even have a Dr Dratini. That's crazy, in my opinion, that I don't even have a Dratini at this point. Um, I haven't even seen a Dratini. I ha haven't even seen a Dratini, and I haven't even seen a Dragonair. Uh, I've seen, obviously, uh, Dragonites and Gems, but I haven't actually, like, seen one on the map. Even on, like, Poke, uh Vision. Uh, people have been telling me to use Poke Vision, but where you, if you live, like, where I tend to live, or, like, where I tend to be, it's not a heavy populated area, so Poke Vision kind of sucks. Um, I might make a video just talking about rural areas and how Pokemon Go sucks for them. Like, if you live in, like, a neighborhood, um, but it's not, like, a big neighborhood. Like, it's a nice, like, my neighborhood's nice, but it's not a big neighborhood. It's, like, just a nice, small neighborhood. Uh, and the PokeVision doesn't show any Pokemon around. Like, there was a Victory Bell last night. I wanted to go find it, but it was 10 o'clock. The three-step... They turned the three-step thing off, so I couldn't go find it that way. And I am not going and walking around my neighborhood at 10 o'clock in 100 different directions trying to figure out where a victory bell is. Like, I just probably wouldn't have found it. Uh, if it would have been across the street, across the road at the church, then I definitely would have never found it because I wasn't going to go over there because they were having... Um, there was something going on over there, so I wasn't going to go over there, and that's probably where it was, because that's just how my luck rolls. Uh, but I, I can't just... I, I don't want to just wander around aimlessly looking for Pokemon. Like, I would never find some of them. Like, I'd never find... There was a... There was a... a Pikachu one time that was on my nearby list, and I walked in three directions, okay? And, I, and then I made, like, an arc in the three directions, and I couldn't find it, I couldn't find it, and then it just appeared at my house. It was just at my house. Like, it didn't pop up initially, and then I walked back to my house, and there it was. So, sometimes that's even broken, too. Like, sometimes, a po and the Pokemon on your nearby list tend to not be in order. There's a lot of times when they won't be in order, so you get kind of screwed there as well. Like, I don't, I love this app, and I I really enjoy it, and I'm having so much fun with it, but there are some things that annoy me, and I feel like these post-coms are when I can really vent and let you guys know the issues that I'm having and the issues overall that uh, the game has. Uh, as much as I love the game, you can see here on the recording, uh, I'll point stuff out as we go in all three videos, but right here you can see that it's walked me over to the stupid corner again. There's a time where it's like walked me way off in the distance, and that was really annoying, but for the most part, I was there about three and a half hours, and I think for about two hours and 45 minutes, probably, I was in the center or near the center, which which was fine. That's good enough for me. You know what? I can't complain. Uh, that was good enough, because last time it was like, I was there for like four hours, and I was maybe in the center. Yeah, see, you, I'm off to the side. Uh, but I was maybe in the center for half of it, uh, which is pretty bad. Um, so this time was a lot better. I am going to go back to the Chocolate Cafe again, because it tends to yield water-type Pokemon, and I need uh, a couple more uh, seals in order to get a Dugong, which is one of my favorite first-generation Pokemon. And I have a really nice seal all set up. Uh, it's a 579 seal. Obviously, I would hope to catch a stronger one. Uh, but it's a 579 seal, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the evolution calculator here, and let's see what that seal would evolve up into, since I'm doing this video and I was just talking about the Pokemon, or the PokeFind app. So it's 579, and it would come out to, oh, it's only come out to be a 973. Oh, gosh, I need a better seal, dude. Okay, well, that didn't 
that didn't work out as I thought. But that's what's really nice is now I know, okay, well, a 579 seal isn't that good, so I'm not going to end up with a very good dugong. Um, I'm hoping, I have a slow poke that's 686 that I hatched today out of an egg. Uh, it seems that all my eggs tend to hatch when I don't have the ability to record or I'm like in the middle of going somewhere to record or whatever. That's when all my eggs hatch. Hopefully here, I'll go back to the park and we can hatch one. I actually got a 10K egg, which I was hyped about. Um, I had one egg spot left when I went to the cafe and I kept spinning and I kept spinning. And I, or I think I had two left. And I kept spinning. I got one egg, but it wasn't a 10K. And then I kept spinning. I think it was near the very end of my trip. I spun it one more time, and I got the 10K egg. We all know what two Pokemon, or I guess three Pokemon I want. Or no, four. Four of the Pokemon in my hunting for are in the 10K egg. Uh, Aerodactyl, Dratini, Scyther, and Lapras. The ones I'm hoping not to get is Electabuzz, unless it's a really high Electabuzz. I don't want a Magmar. There's a Magmar nest near my house that I know of now. So I don't, I really, really don't want a Magmar. That's about the last thing I want uh, next to Eevee. I think Eevee and Magmar are the two Pokemon out of the 10k eggs that I don't want. Um, let me, let me double check and make exactly sure that there's not anything else. I don't really want Kabuto uh, just simply because I would rather have Omnistar or almost no, no, Ammonite. Omnistar is the is the evolution. Uh, but I would rather have Ammonite because I have so many so far, and I have a really strong Ammonite. And according to the PokeFind, because I wanted to know this, this was like an important thing I wanted to know. The Ammonite, the Amistar would be like a 1900. It would be, it would be crazy. Okay, so here we are on the 10K. So I'll read them off and we'll go through. So Dratini, yes. Omanite, yes. Eevee, no, heck no. Lapras, yes. Jinx, heck no. Pinsir, yes, because I don't have a pincer. That's another one. I've never seen a pincer on my map. I've seen one Scyther. Uh, Electabuzz. Trains, I swear, dude. Okay, so I sat down here, and, and I was having issues with getting this all set up so I could record it, and there was no trains for, like, 15 minutes. Like, 15 minutes, there were no trains. And then now, now there's, like, three in the span of me starting this video, of course. But Electabuzz, not really. Magmar is, like, on the level of EV, since I know that there's a, uh, there's a Magmar Ness. I know that I don't, I don't want to get Magmars out of my 10k eggs. Uh, then there's Aerodactyl. Obviously, I want that. Scyther, I really want that. Uh, Chansey, I would take another Chansey. Uh, Chanseys are actually better than I thought. I was pretty disappointed the first time I got Chansey, but it didn't end up being as bad as I thought. It's actually pretty good. I did, I did power it up a little bit, but not a whole lot. Uh, Hitmonchan and Hitmon Lee, I will take them. Never seen them on my map before, so... I would take those. Snorlax is another one that I'd really want uh, because he's just a beast, and most of them I see people hatch are just absolute monster Snorlaxes. Uh, Onyx, no, I don't really want Onyx. I already have one, and he sucks. He is he is the worst Pokemon for health in the whole game. In the whole game of final, I guess of no more, you can't evolve him anymore. There you go. That's how I put it. If you can evolve, if you can, you can't evolve a Pokemon anymore, but you can't evolve Onyx. He is the absolute worst in health. Uh, and then Kabuto, like I said, I want Kabutops, but I would rather like wait and get my Omastar here quick and then move on to Kabutops. But I've been finding all of my own Ammonite, uh, Ammonites at Pokestops at lures. Uh, it seems that you get one really rare Pokemon from a lure each time you use it, and for me it's tended to be Ammonites, because I've gotten three of them, so that's that's really nice for me. I'm, I'm happy with Ammonites. Uh, not my favorite Pokemon. Uh, sorry if you hear me sniff. I've, it's, it's getting to allergy season. My allergies are actually pretty bad uh, right now. I need to get my allergy shot, but uh, almost Ammonite... And Omastar, they weren't like my favorite when I was younger, but I kind of like them in the app. They look kind of cool. They look a lot cooler in the app, and I don't know. I don't know. I don't know my, my 
rhyme, rhyme or reason. I just like them more in the in the app than I do in game version. Um, I was thinking about going back and playing Pokemon Coliseum and then Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness just for some other uploads uh, just on the channel to go along with the Pokemon Go that we've got going. I need to refire up the Dark Souls 3, the Rise of Queen Reject, but... That's been put on. That's been put on a hold for Pokemon Go because I've just been playing Pokemon Go on Pokemon Go on Pokemon Go because I just love. I love the app. I keep running out of Pokeballs. I have to keep buying Pokeballs, which is kind of annoying because there's no Poke. I there's not a lot of times where I can go. Oh, Poke stop. Yeah, spin it. Poke stop. Spin it. Like Poke stops every two seconds. Like I see pictures all over Twitter. Yeah, I'm not allowed. I can't. I can't do. I'm not. I'm allowed, but there's none around my house like there's no none near me like even when i go over to the chocolate cafe like you can see there is a lot of pokey stops but here we go with me running off to this stupid point over here i don't even get it it doesn't even make any sense why i run over there it just doesn't even make any sense because i never left the app i would just start randomly running over to different areas at different points in time <laughs> while i was at the at the cafe and it just got pretty pretty annoying <laughs> I, I just didn't get it and i had my second account which i'm going to be making a video on my second account just showing you guys uh what i've got on there and what's happening on that account uh i also may be taking a road trip to i think it will be two weeks that's still a ways away but it would be two weeks there is a uh, charmander nest uh, about two hours away uh, if I could go there and sit there for like three hours or something and get ten Charmanders, that would be really worth it. I'd probably sit there like all day, like nine hours, if I could get 30 Charmanders. Uh, because, obviously, then I'd get my Charizard and it would be it would be some hot fire. But I had that 525 Charmander and I think if I did the math right, it was like a 1900 Charizard. If I was able to get it, which is just going to be epic when I can get those things. Um... Lots of people have caught Blastoise and Venusaurs in the wild. I haven't seen any video on YouTube of anyone catching, though I don't watch a whole lot of people on YouTube for Pokemon Go. I think I only watch like four or five people. Yeah, no, six. I watch six people on YouTube for Pokemon Go. Um, and mostly, I would only watch like two if I didn't have work and I could watch them at work. Uh, if I didn't have that, then I would only be watching, like, two Pokemon Go YouTubers, which would be Lachlan and Master Of. Uh, but other than those, uh, the rest that I watch wouldn't be watched unless I could watch them at work. Okay, I just said, like, the same thing repeatedly, like, four times. But uh, I totally lost my train of thought. What was I talking about before I... Oh, no no one that I've seen has hatched a, or has caught a Charizard in the wild. Like, you've seen Blastoises caught, and you've seen... Venusaurs caught, though I've never seen them, which, it's tricky, you know, the fact that I am the level that I am, and have the Pokemon that I have is a miracle, because I don't see anything rare, there has been one Scyther on my nearby list, I think that's it, I think that's it for like Pokemon that you get out of the 10k eggs, I think Scyther is it, and he was on there once for like 30 seconds, and then he disappeared. That is it. I haven't even seen a Growlithe on my thing forever. I see a Growlithe like once every week, and then I can't find it, so it never actually turns out to be anything. If I could have found all the Growlithe that have popped up, we may be close, because I got a bunch of candies from the, the Growlithe that I uh, hatched. But, I don't know, I just feel like I have some of the worst luck when it comes to Pokemon Go. I just don't think I find what other people find. I've done everything. Like, I've walked around at parks, I've walked around my neighborhood, I've walked out in the middle of nowhere. I'm going for a boat ride on... Uh, I'm going for a boat ride in a video, and I'm going to see what kind of Pokemon we find there. I want to find water types. Now, where I'm going, uh, that we're, the lake house is... Uh, a place where my friend caught a Dratini, so I'm hoping I can maybe find a couple Dratinis out there. Uh, one, I guess, would be would be crazy. I'd be happy with one. I'd be happy with a Dragonair. You know, you, you game, you could spawn me like a 1,000 Dragonair, 
and I could just have this the most fire Dragonite a level 23 has ever had. Or, you know, I would literally take a Dratini at this point because I don't have I don't have one. And I, I want a I want a Dratini. I love Dragonite. I love Dragonite and I love Charizard. When I get those two added to my team, like I'll be happy. I'll be happy forever. <laughs> Then it will be moving on to getting legendaries will be my most wanted. I probably won't put their sprites there because obviously you can't find... I don't know who sprites... It's going to take me two or three or four more weeks to get a Charizard. It may take me two months to get a Charizard or Dragonite at this rate. Uh, I just can't find any. Uh, but once I do, who knows who sprite is going to go there. It could be something as stupid as Kabutops because I feel like a ton of people have Kabutops and I'm just... Out in the cold, not having Kabutops. Uh, I can't believe I don't have a Scyther or a Magmar. I feel like everybody has those. And Rhydon, I don't have a Rhydon. I feel like everybody has those. I just feel like I just don't have as many Pokemon as, like, everybody I see. Like, everybody sends me, like, my friends send me screenshots. And they're, like, in these lit areas. Like, there's, like, a... There's like a Dratini spawn, and there's a Scyther, and there's like an Electabuzz. I'm like, why can't I have this? Like, when I'm sitting at three lures, I get a, a Jinx, and a Weedle, and a and a, a Drowsy. I'm like, no one wants those. If you don't have a Jinx, I don't think Jinx is. Jinx isn't region exclusive. I don't know. Jinx isn't region exclusive, so everybody should have Jinx. Like, everybody should have Drowsy. All I find is Drowsies and Caterpies and Weedles and freaking Raditas. I can't find anything else. I have like 150 caught of every, all four of those. It's out of hand with those. Like, I need more Pokemon. Like, this is where it's got to. I'm willing to find Zigzagoons. Like, like that's where it's come to now. I'm looking forward to Zigzagoons instead of Raditas, and that's just not a good thing. Though, Raticate sucks. I don't like that Pokemon. I do like Lyanoon, so I do like Zigzagoon a lot more because I like its evolution. Also, uh, a lot of the common, like, uh, oh, oh, gosh, we're testing my, uh, my knowledge. Uh, beautiful. I really like Beautiful Eye. I hope Beautiful Eye. What? I don't even. Oh gosh. What evolves into a Beautiful Eye? It's Cascoon. No. 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 Cascoon evolves into. No. Cascoon evolves into. I actually I don't know. I don't know what the other one is. It's Dust Dox and Beautiful Eye. I don't remember what the other Pokemon are that evolve into those. But that's not important. I'm looking forward to that generation. I just like a lot of Pokemon. I can't wait for Absol. Oh, as soon as that gen comes out, Absol's going to be on that most wanted list until I find one. Because Absol may... Absol's up there for favorite Pokemon. I've got like 20 Pokemon that contend for number one because um, I just like a ton of Pokemon, but Absol is in that discussion. I cannot wait for Absol. I'm really hoping that they make this game viable for, like, years to come. So it's still, like, a thing. Like, I want to be catching Rayquaza eventually. Like, I want to be fighting Rayquaza. If there, when there's a Rayquaza, if, they, if you have to go certain places for events, that will be the event that I chalk out money for. Like, I will pay to go get Rayquaza. Like, that's not even, that's not even a question. I'm still excited to see exactly what their full plans are for Legendaries, but if I got to fly to the Ukraine, or, like, Antarctica, I'm going, I'm getting Rayquaza, I will pay, like, not a crazy amount, but I will pay some money to go get Rayquaza, uh, I'll play, I'll pay a plane ticket to wherever and back, if that's all it's gonna take me, I will pay that to go get Rayquaza, it will be worth it to me, but, let me, let me finish and wrap up this video, there are two more parts to this, uh, they'll probably just be more ranting. Maybe one of them will be more serious where I actually talk about what I caught. Uh, but there were a lot of heartbreaks. You guys will see them. There, there was a really good Tauros. I think it was like 1,200 that got away. There's just some really good Pokemon in these videos that I caught. Nothing like crazy. I catch an Omanyte, but other than that, there's nothing crazy. Like 
there's there's no like Charizard spawning up at this lure or Dragonite spawning up at this lure. No, no, we, we get Jinx and Drowsies all day, all day. I'd be getting Jinx and Drowsies, but I do love this area because it's right by the water, so you get a lot of water Pokemon, and I like a lot of the water Pokemon evolutions, so I'm all right with. Uh, the Chocolate Cafe, but probably one more trip to the Chocolate Cafe, and then I'm going to start looking for a new place to go. Um, maybe one... I think I've debunked the theory of the the fire Pokemon or at gas stations. I'll discuss that in the next video, but I think I've pretty much debunked that. But maybe we'll try out a video where I go test the... If you're next to a um, Transformer or an old power station, you will, uh, you'll find more electric Pokemon. I think that's, that's not true either, so I'll probably go debunk that as well. Uh, but I have some significant time spent at a gas station trying to catch Pokemon, and I didn't catch a single one, but I will go over that. Here we go. End of this video. There's the bad boy Omanyte. 578. That's my boy that turns into like a 1900 Amistar, and you can power him up still, which is crazy. He is going to be so beastly. I can't wait to get that Amistar. I'll probably end up getting it when I have like 2400 Pokemon, and then then he won't be as he won't be as beastly. But we're up to nine Amistar candies. Need 41 more to evolve him. That is a crazy amount. That's why I kind of want to hatch one. Uh, but not too big of a deal. Um, he's not a Pokemon I expect to get soon. I kind of expected to have a Charizard by now. We're about, what, four weeks into the life cycle of Pokemon Go. I'm not even sniffing a Charmander. Like, I'm at, like, 15 candy. Or, no, I'm at nine. I am at nine Charizard, or Charmander candies. I'm not even sniffing a Charmander at this point. Or, or a, or a Charmeleon, what am I saying? I'm not even close to a Charmeleon at this point, which is disappointing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, and I will catch you all in part two, which should be up tomorrow. So peace out, guys.